All right, here we're getting started on another MacBook. This MacBook appears to have had a, a vase that fell on it and spilled water on it. And as a result of the spilled water, it no longer works. Let's get this MacBook on the desk and see if we can figure it out. Okay, let's take a look at this little MacBook. All right, so this is gonna be the SMC reset chip, which was responsible for turning the SMC on. And as you can see, it's been violently attacked. So this chip over here is U5110 SN0903049. If we needed this chip, if we needed an SN0903049, where could we go? If we needed one of these chips, what would we do? Perhaps you can head on over to store.rossmangroup.com. The number one result on Google for a U5110 SMC reset IC for the new MacBook motherboards. Don't delay. Check out store.rossmangroup.com today. You can even save 8% on your order if you decide to buy five chips rather than one. And you'll need them, folks. This chip also works on the MacBook Air, which has the SMC reset circuitry right on the edge of the machine where the water is always likely to get in. Don't delay. Make sure that you head over to store.rossmangroup.com for all of your board repair needs today. We even have a UV light curing pen. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that curing pen. This great new product from store.rossmangroup.com. It's powered by AAA's test 2K. That is Magento, Diga. All right, as can be seen here, we have a pad that looks like it's seen better days. Let's take a look at this little pad. Oh my. Wow, this is a pad we may be able to revive rather than have to run a jumper. But it's still a pad that's seen better days. I wonder what that pad is for. What do you know? That's the PP3V42 pad, where PP3V42 is going to come into my chip. And that, peep, that also goes to a capacitor up here, which also looks like garbage. Maybe we will run a jumper wire after all, since none of this is trustworthy. What a board. Skull Dulita Padesa Pads, Nasera. I get my donor boards from, from vendors in China that will sell them to me. They're probably going to the trash can at the factory and sneaking things out.
And apparently there's a resistor that used to be above here. My god, that's destroyed. Chia pet, the pottery that grows. Spread the seeds, soak your chia, and watch it grow. Spread the seeds, spread the seeds, and watch it grow. So we're <clears throat> What's the name of the game? <laughs> da -da 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 I was in a possible hmm. I love ABBA. ABBA is so great. I never had a Chia pet and I never had an iPhone for her. And I probably never will. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Okay, that should be good. Next up, this lovely clock chip. So we should get a green light in the charger at this point, but we're still going to have an issue of it not turning on because the chip that creates our clock signal looks like this.
Hello. Hello. Yes. This is Paul. I thought I was done, but it dragged me back in. Oh my god. I want to go back to work. Stop. No worries, you have a good day. All right. Yeah, same here at TCRS. But you just gotta deal with it, smile, say thank you. I usually just hit the mute button on my phone and start cursing or throwing stuff around the desk. It helps. It definitely helps. Because if you don't say anything, you'll just lose your mind. That's what the mute button on the phone is for. So... The thing is, Heather, some people need to call in because they need to have their balls tickled and all that shit before they allow you to work on it. A lot of people are not calling in to double, you know, for the price. They're calling in because they, they want to make sure there's a person on the other end of the phone. And sometimes people just need their balls tickled a little bit before they send something in. Or their titties twisted and, you know, whatever, whatever it is. We're equal opportunity here. And you, you just got and you just got to, in that case, I just had to tickle his balls a little bit to get him to send it in. And, you know. It's part of the, it's part of uh, what they're paying for. Yeah, well, that's fine. You just got to do a little bit of ball tickling every now and then. Exactly. Frostclaw gets the idea. Lewis understands me and my MacBook. They have to feel like you... They, the, the person on the other end needs to feel like you understand them and their MacBook. And their specific situation. That is very specific to them. Even though you've seen it a million trillion times before and it's all the same shit. But it, it's... Like you, you just got to do the ball tickling. And if you're not willing to do the ball tickling, then somebody else will do the ball tickling, and the, ball, and the other ball tickler will get the business. You know, there's nothing, nothing wrong with a little bit of ball tickling every now and then. I can totally see Nasera as the type of person that does not want to seem rude. Which is why your conversations are probably going to go on forever. Let's switch tips here.
That JTAG port was not innocent. It had to go. You may think that JTAG port was innocent, but it was not. There is no such thing as an innocent JTAG connector. That's what's meant by tickle-down economics. Exactly. Yeah. You tickle the balls of your customers, and you wind up making more money. Tickle-down economics. That's how it works. Clearly you haven't read enough Thomas Sowell. The last three pins are all the same thing, so if they're bridged, I don't care. Let's see if this little MacBook has been fixed. I get no light in the charger, and zero amps are drawn. Hmm. That's bullshit because we spent quite a bit of time on this. All right. He still has two shorts in the middle. Do I? Well, crap. I do. That wouldn't cause me to have no green light, but you got to get used to this new tip choice. I, I'm really, I, I'm very used to that one that has the hole on the bottom of it, the flat one, because it absorbs the extra solder rather than just moving it around. I kind of like that one. I miss it very much. Now, nah, we'll just move somewhere else. Hatai, chillax. You're not gonna burn shit by shorting two pins on an LCD connector. It's no big deal. Chillax, man. All right. So let's take a look and see what we're getting here. First, let's make sure my charger is coming in. Sure is. The input to my PP3V4 two circuit is 18 volts. Alex! Alex! Damn it. How can I help you? Hi, um, I just broke my, uh, iPhone headset. Back to the PP3V42 circuit. So we have 18 volts coming in. We have 3.4 volts coming out. Our PP bus is 12.3, which means our SMC is not turning on. All right, so first thing to do, let's see if our SMC reset circuit is putting out an SMC reset signal. Over here is our SMC reset signal, so it's not being told to turn on. Great. 3.4 volts going into the SMC chip. Zero coming out of it. 3.4 volts on this side of the resistor. Zero volts on that side. Mm. 3.4 here. Three point one three. That's not right. You're a broken trace. So this is going to be the, this has to connect to this pin down here. And this trace looks awfully questionable. Yeah, look, this doesn't go anywhere. This is all broken. All right, so let's run a wire, to, a little jumper wire. Someone says, can you read Hebrew? I have no idea how to read Hebrew.
Green light. Fan spin! Finally! Fan spin! Something that works! It took long enough. Look at that. Look at that. It works. It works. It works. Yes! Win, win, fan spin. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? We fix MacBooks. Come by our store at 186 First Avenue, located in Manhattan, open 12 to 8 on the weekday, 12 to 4 on the weekends, if you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed. Do you live outside New York City? No problem. Head over to our website and click on the Outside New York mailbox icon or go to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com to be redirected to the mail and repair instructions page on our website and a form that will tell you how to send your MacBook in. At rossmangroup.com, we offer Mac laptop repair, logic board repairs, clean room data recovery on hard drives, iPhone and iPad data recovery after hard drops or liquid damage, and liquid spill damage repairs on MacBooks. Check us out on Google where you'll find amazing reviews spanning the past 10 years of our being in business. Whether it's on Google, Yelp, or other platforms, people love the service that we provided for them, and we're more than happy to provide that level of service. You can also check us out on YouTube, where over the past 600 repair videos, we showcase exactly how we do the job we do and show you that we are actually capable of doing it. Unlike many websites that brag about their infinite number of certifications while using photos from stockphoto.com, where they hold a soldering iron from the hot end, we take pride in the work that we do, and we take pride in doing it here, not outsourcing it. Thank you for your business, thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.